and welcome back to another video and not too much on my hair i'm getting ready to wash it detangle it all that fun stuff right now but i just wanted to come in really quick and introduce today's video so as you guys can tell by the title the thumbnail all that today i'm gonna be trying out the new Revair reverse hair dryer super excited about it because honestly y'all the Revair has become my go-to blow dryer like since the last time i posted my Revair video that is the only blow dryer i've been really using to stretch and like blow dry my hair so i'm um, super excited that they updated it so we're gonna go ahead and test that out today but i've already unboxed it and been playing around with it and stuff like that I haven't used it yet but my first impressions just like fresh out the box i will say that it's definitely significantly smaller right this is like about the size of a toaster honestly and truly at least like the the motor is about the size of a toaster i'll probably go ahead and insert some b-roll for you guys so you can really compare the size difference but this is the new updated one and then this is the older one definitely not toaster i couldn't tell you what i would compare this to honestly but definitely not a toaster um so it's a lot smaller in addition to that i feel like it's a lot more i don't know if compact is the right word necessarily because i mean you know you still have this holes and stuff like that but it's just so many less pieces it's not as cumbersome as the, uh, the the original one so in addition to the original one being really big there's like extra pieces and stuff so this is like the wand cur uh, wand holder that came with the rev air and i personally just never really got around to using it i maybe used it once or twice in one blow dry setting sitting but it's just not really practical like the rev air is already really big and cumbersome in itself so to have to carry another extra piece that's also a little heavy it just wasn't really practical i never really used it i would just rest the wand on my table my bed or like whatever whatever's near me but however with the new one there's no extra pieces well technically this is the extra piece right here <clears throat> so super light small compact this part is definitely compact right you just plug this in here and then you just rest your wand wow you just wet rest the wand on the wand holder it's a lot more practical in my opinion i could definitely see myself using it in this way but we're about to see now uh, once i wash my hair and i start blow drying it what else oh and the last thing the last thing i'm gonna say as like my first impression is the fact that the new one comes with this storage bag that is gonna be it's gonna come in so clutch honestly i ha i have had a hard time storing this river like i love it but it's been it's so awkwardly stored in my closet like buried a bunch of bags and clothes and then the hose is out just trying to it's just too much it's too much and it's just not really practical um with this on the other hand literally the red bear the holes everything just fits in it i'm not gonna put it in now because i have my red bear already plugged in and all that but it literally just fits in this bag you can just like tuck it away in a closet neatly right you don't have to worry about the holes coming out blocking the closet door from closing and all of that so i'm excited about this i really am um so i think that's it as far as my first impressions so let me go ahead and jump in the shower wash my hair and come back to you guys hair is freshly washed detangled slightly um towel dried because i went and got something to eat after i washed my hair um let's go ahead and get started so so let's go ahead and start off with this side here oh my gosh my part is atrocious <sighs> my battery already halfway dead Hold on, y'all. I'm going with my tangle teaser first, just to make sure that my hair is nice and tangled. Right. And then I'm gonna make an even smaller section because we know we're not about to we're not about to um blow dry this whole section right here. I'm gonna use my design essentials, which is like my go-to heat protectant when I'm like actually blow drying my hair. Because I feel like it's faster, it gets the job done a lot faster. I don't know if it's the silicones or what, but Just so you guys can see, the um, the uh, tension setting is now digital. So if you want to increase it, you want to do. Just... So I'm gonna go ahead and I mean I know it's recommended that you start lower and then work your way up, but I feel like I already know my hair. You know, if anything, 
I'm gonna start off with seven, which is the highest setting, and then be like, oh man, if that's too much, then I'll lower it. But, you know. I think the hose is actually shorter too, slightly, not too much, but by a little bit. Do I have it on hot? No, I don't. So we have one half blow dried. It's been about like 29 minutes, call it 30 minutes. Um, so I did go over a few sections again, um, like halfway through this half of my head. I went back in with the rubber and some sections that were already like starting to like poof up and poof up and stuff, which is pretty normal here in Miami. Um, I usually like to twist up each section, which I was doing, but I just got my ends cut. So they kept unraveling. Um, but like. I can't say that I noticed much of a difference in how my hair looks. My my roots are nice and stretched. They're not like poofy or anything like that, which I love. What do y'all think though? How does it look? Mm. Guys, so update. I finished blow drying my hair. And I want to say it took me about like an hour. So according to my stopwatch, which I can't say is accurate because I didn't stop so many times to talk and flip the camera and all of these things but my my phone said an hour and six minutes i went back to my old youtube video where i revisited the red bear it took me about an hour and three minutes again a couple minutes difference i wouldn't say that i would like a discrepancy it could be just like a discrepancy or whatever anyways in conclusion it took me about the same amount of time that it took with the other dryer and so this side you guys might notice that this side looks a little puffier than this side so when I got to like this quarter, this quarter of my head, like I realized, I'm like, I keep blow drying my hair and I'm like, why is it not stretching like the way it normally stretches? And then I realized I somehow like accidentally clicked this button. So I had it, so there's two tension settings. Well, technically three, there's no tension. One, no, I lied. Not tension, heat. I had it on the cool setting and I was trying to figure out why my hair wasn't stretching the way it was supposed to stretch. So I kept doing that. I wasn't really focused. I'm like multitasking. I'm like on my phone scrolling while I'm holding the blow dryer. So. Um, I didn't realize that it wasn't working. I thought I just didn't leave the hair in long enough, but I did. It's just that I didn't have the um, didn't have the proper heat setting on. But um, yeah, y'all. So so do I feel like you still? If you don't have a rubber, do I still feel like you need to get one? Absolutely. If you have the old rubber, do you need to upgrade? I would say it's a little unnecessary. It depends. Like if you are that bothered by the cumbersomeness and you want something a little more, a little smaller, something a little more easy to store, then hey, go for it. But I know your average person doesn't have, you know, three hundred dollars to throw away on another, not throw away, but three hundred dollars to invest into a whole new dryer. When as far as like the dry time, you know what I'm saying? Is there's not a huge difference in my opinion. I said it before and I'm gonna say it again. Red Bear is a lazy natural's dream okay so yeah i just wanted to quickly add because i couldn't really find the words while i was uh filming this video but like as time has gone on it's been a few days since i blew dry my hair honestly and truly based off of my first impression and like the last few times that i've used the older red rear i honestly feel like i got a better a better blowout with the older one uh keep in mind we just had a hurricane it's been like hella rainy he hella, hella humid here in miami I don't know if that has anything to do with it or if it's just user error or what, but I did just want to be transparent about that. But at the end of the day, my point still stands. Rever is an amazing blow dryer and I'll be sure to update you guys as I continue using the newer one to see if, you know, my results differ at all or if I find easier or better ways to use it. I'll definitely give you guys some tips, but back to the video. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my hair yet. Um, I'll think about that later tonight or maybe tomorrow, but I definitely want to take advantage of my hair being stretched. Um, so I'll probably experiment with the new hairstyle. Y'all stay tuned for that but go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this video in the comments what you think of the rev air do you have one 
have you guys gotten the new one how do you think they compare are you guys interested in getting one let me know your thoughts in the comments and i will see you guys in my next video